I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. We uh, just got this piano in. It uh, is a piano that we're going to be um, doing some work on for some people. Uh, it was originally um, purchased in Scotland, is what they is what they told me. And there's even a, a little uh, thing on the inside here, something about Edinburgh. The company, Wagoner or Wagoner, probably, is how it's pronounced, it says established 1829. This piano was probably built um, quite a bit later, but, but still almost, almost certainly um, uh, 19th century, early 20th century, maybe. The, uh, it's a pretty typical um, European, European piano. It's, it's in desperate need of work. It's, it's a very different kind of style, very different piano building tradition than, than a lot of the modern American piano, or modern, uh, early early 20th century American pianos that, uh, that we rebuild. Um, let's look at, well, why don't I play it real quick and then, then I'll show you why, what I'm referring to when I say it's a very different style. sure preserve this ivory we'll repair that chip we use a um, it's an acrylic which is the same stuff from what I understand that um, that uh, nail salons use to, to kind of fix chips and fingernails and actually when we do it it smells like it smells like a nail salon and then that's a, it's a strong smell um, but rather than using the color of you know whatever hot pink or whatever nail color it's it's an ivory kind of an off-white yellowish color and it fills in and it, and it looks pretty good um, if you know what you're looking for you can see you can see the the repair but if it's well done it's oh, that music desk oh yeah out. sure music it's kind of fun. and by the way i should mention these candelabras this one is bent pretty severely but we can probably bend that back, heat it up maybe, bend it back. This one's in much better. Well, no one's bent too. Anyway, the idea being, of course, that you can read your music with the with light. The veneer, by the way, this is a burl. All of these, this is, this is all burl, which is a diseased part of the wood. Bad for the piano, great for woodworkers and people that like wood. It's stuck on there pretty tight. Okay, so this is what I'm referring to when I say that it's a totally different tradition of piano making. This is what's called a bird cage action, and a lot of English makers and uh, and in this case, German makers um, use this design. The uh, you can see under there; those those hammers are just awful, terrible condition. The whole thing really is in absolutely dreadful condition. Nonetheless, we're we're not going to be totally rebuilding it, but we'll be um, reshaping hammers, or, or replacing hammers rather, probably replacing dampers. We'll be cleaning everything very thoroughly, like I said, redoing the, redoing the keys. Strings are gonna, are gonna remain original. Um, 
I'm fairly optimistic that in spite of what you just heard, I'm fairly optimistic that we can actually get it um, to uh, where it's functional. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's what he wanted us to do: replace hammers and dampers. I, that's what. That's. I, I should have looked it up before I made this video, but I'm pretty sure that's what he wanted us to do. So, anyway, I think this will be a pretty dramatic, pretty dramatic turnaround.